make um, sculptures and forms out of willow, ash, contorted hazel, birch, larch and heather, the materials that grow in the area where I live. The willow I grow here um, has quite a few different varieties for the different properties and colours of the willow that I use. Um, it's totally sustainable and renewable, so I cut it right back to the ground every year and it shoots back in all its glory every year. Um, so pretty amazing stuff really. I harvest it every winter when the sap is down and the leaves have fallen. Um, and, uh, take it all back uh, to a barn to let it dry out and then soak it again so it becomes flexible to use it. But over the winter it take at least um, probably over a six week period we'll come down and sometimes have uh, students come and help um, and some of the rods are very maybe twice my height so it takes quite a lot of carrying to, to take it all back on the farm bike and then a trailer back to the back to the barn um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good part of the process of marking enjoy being outside enjoying being with my materials get to know them there's an intimate connection which comes through in the work and um, the inspiration comes from firstly a compulsion to make, um, which I think I've always had with me, um, comes from nature, comes from the hills and the gallery landscape, but more and more I think it comes from um, uh, my inner self, um, if I can put it like that. It's, um, I think I work to find out who I am, if you know. I think Henry Moore said something like that and I agree with him. We work to find out who we are. Some of the forms have quite a lot of hidden work that you wouldn't actually see in the form itself. And so I'll make perhaps a traditional basketry base and use that to help form a 3D sphere or a bowl um, or even the ash rings. I might make an entire sphere and then use the ash to coat the sphere in a ring and then cut away the whole sphere. After I've completed the piece, I like to use an oil, usually an organic based wood oil, which feeds the wood and gives it um, a sort of nutritious feel and so it'll last a long time without going um, sad looking. Um, so I do that and I also feed the ash with um, an oil which has a sort of grey blue pigment and this um, keeps it its own um, grey colour so it doesn't fade and uh, it looks good for a long time. Some of the pieces, because they're made of natural materials, have um, can have a kind of calmness to them after you finish working on them and sometimes this comes across. And um, this woman at the weekend came in and she wanted one of my cards and I said, yes, you can have that one. And it was of a piece I made a while ago. It was a picture of this piece. And uh, I said, well, I made that when my father died. And she immediately um, burst into tears because she'd been using it as a bereavement card all this time. And I realized that some of the emotion that goes into a piece can have effects long after you've finished making it. When you're actually out there in the field, there's a link with nature which you hope will continue on once you finish the piece. Mm -hmm.